In this video, I'm going to share with you the secrets behind my favorite foam rolling for shoulders and low back. What are the secrets behind self myofascial release for your upper and lower back using the soft foam roller? In this video, I will talk about how one of the biggest discoveries in musculoskeletal medicine can help your upper and lower back pain. Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa. I've been offering myofascial release to our members in our membership community using balls and rollers since 2013. This May, we're offering myofascial May in our membership community. Over the next four weeks, I will be answering your questions about myofascial release here on this channel and applying these principles in my yoga classes on my main channel as well. So be sure to subscribe here and to my main channel, Yoga with Melissa, to get all of those classes. Pain in the lower back can be caused by repetitive strain from standing, from sitting, and playing sports. And pain in your shoulders can be caused by spending long hours on screens, keyboarding, smartphones, driving, and the stress and tension that we carry in our shoulders from day-to-day -day life. Our daily habits, activities, inactivity, emotional experiences, and mental tension affect our neuromuscular system. Whether you are standing all day, sitting all day, moving around all day, your body has certain habitual postures that cause some muscle groups to pull on each other too much and others not enough. These muscular imbalances affect your myofascia, the soft tissue that connect every structure in your body from your muscles, bones, organs, right down to your cells. In this video, we apply gentle compression and massage techniques using a soft foam roller to create a neurophysiological response to your fascia. Your myofascia is rich in nerve endings, so when you apply gentle pressure, nerve signals flow to and from your brain. These nerve signals control your proprioception, where you are in space, coordination, and your ability to control movement. So when you apply that gentle pressure to your myofascia, either using a soft foam roller on your sacrum or upper back, a signal flows to and from your brain back to your tissue, letting you know that there's no longer a need for tension in the lower back or the shoulders. So in a nutshell, myofascial release creates a neurological response that gives you the opportunity to create more efficient movement patterns in your lower back and your shoulders. I have a whole other video on which foam roller is best, and I'll give you a card for that above, but uh, foam, it will tell you what foam roller to use so that you don't get too much pain. Um, it's really good for somebody like myself who's pretty highly sensitive, and maybe like you. Remember, we're just trying to get a neurological response with the foam roller, so if you're body's going danger, 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 protect, 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 then there's no way that your shoulders and low back will release. They'll simply go into protective mode and brace even more. So we don't want to have a neural backlash and wire in those restrictive movement patterns even stronger. But when you apply gentle pressure for a short amount of time, you'll signal to your brain that something different can happen here and your body will know it's okay to let go. So give this video a thumbs up if you respect the neurophysiological response and put foam rolling is all in the brain in the comments. If you'd like to access this full class where I will take you step by step carefully through the neurophysiological process, I'll put a link below for members and a link for you to become a member so that you can unlock the full class. It's one of my absolute favorite ways to use the foam roller, so definitely check it out.